What's up guys, welcome to e-reviews. We are still with the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people crib about uh, the heating issues with this phone. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why it happens and how you can prevent it. The first would be the why part. The first and foremost reason for the heating issue on this phone is the overclocked 1.6 GHz Snapdragon 400 processor. If you take a look at Qualcomm's official website, you will see that all the Snapdragon 400 processors are either clocked at 1.2 GHz or 1.4 GHz at max. Uh, take for example the Sony T3 which has 1.4 GHz and the Moto G2 which has 1.2 GHz. Since the Redmi 1S has an overclocked proce uh, pro processor, we face issues such as overload and uh, more power consumptions and uh, as a result of which you have forced closes on heavy applications. The second reason would be the Android version. The Redmi 1S runs uh, the Jelly Bean 4.3. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad but it's still got a dodgy RAM management and battery management. Not to worry, Xiaomi has promised a KitKat update so we'll just have to cross our fingers and hope for the best. The next part would be how to prevent the heating. Please be informed that you need to have a rooted phone to go ahead and do this. Uh, well, if you don't know how to root or uh, don't know what routing is all about, go ahead and check out my video. I have provided the link in the description. Well, once you have successfully rooted the phone, uh, go ahead and download this app called No Frills CPU Control. Let me just pull the phone in the front so you guys could see it more clearer. So there you go, it's called the No Frills CPU Control app. Basically what this app does is lets you set the frequency of the processor. As we spoke earlier, the Redmi 1S has an overclock 1.6 GHz Snapdragon 400 processor. Well, let's go ahead and validate this in this app. Well, there you go, the maximum clock frequency is set at 1.594 GHz. Uh, which is still more than the 1.4 recommended by Qualcomm well let's go ahead and click on this you'll see a bunch of uh, available options uh, I did a couple of uh, research and found that the Snapdragon 400 processor performs at its best between 1.2 and 1.4 gigahertz so I have made a decision of taking up 1.306 gigahertz uh, you can choose whichever you want between that number and uh, so let's go ahead and set it up and please be warned do not go below 1.3 gigahertz uh, in the maximum clock frequency because it might cause serious problems to your phone so let's just stick to 1.3 and uh, and trust me guys at 1.3 gigahertz it runs all the games amazingly well and the battery consumption has improved as well the next step would be to match the minimum clock frequency with the maximum clock frequency since we have reduced the maximum to 1.3 gigahertz let's go ahead and reduce the minimum clock frequency as well now if you click on this you'll get a bunch of options again scroll up and you'll see an option called 384 megahertz click on that and please be advised please be informed do not go below this because you might have problems with it and uh, so there you go maximum clock frequency at 1.3 and minimum clock frequency at 384 leave the governor and IO scheduler as it is and uh, select the apply on boot option and apply so there you go it's been set at 1.3 at max and 384 at minimum having said that I cannot 100% promise you that the heating issues will be gone but uh, I use it for a lot of gaming texting and a lot of browsing so it helped me a lot so go ahead and try it if you have any questions or concern please write back I will surely assist you and uh, thank you for watching if you like my video go ahead and click like subscribe and uh, See you soon.